Let's consider the situation where we have two quantitative variables and we're interested in whether or not there is some relationship between them. So for example, two quantitative variables might be things like height and weight or maybe years of education and income. And so in this video we're going to demonstrate the first step in examining the relationship between two quantitative variables and that is to create a scatter diagram or scatter plot. Now, the two variables we're going to use in this video are distance to and commute to from the early fall 09 class survey. You might remember that distance to is the distance in miles a student travels from home to the college, and commute to is the time in minutes that a student typically takes to commute from home to the college. Now, to create the scatter plot, we're going to go to the menus at the top of the page click on graphics, scatter plot, and now I need to identify which variable I'm going to plot on the x-axis and which variable goes to the y-axis. On the x-axis, let's select distance traveled, and on the y-axis, let's place commute to or commute time. Click Create Graph, and we have our scatter plot. Now, this is the first step in assessing the relationship, if any, between the two variables. Each point on the plot represents the distance traveled and the commute time for a single student in our data set. And so it certainly looks like there's a general trend in our data. As distance traveled increases, we see that commute time tends to increase as well. But now it's important to remember that the visual interpretation of a graph like this can depend on the way the graph is created, in particular in how the axes are scaled. So what we need is a way to more clearly characterize the relationship between two quantitative variables, one that doesn't depend on the way we choose to set the scales on the scatter plot. And so this will be the subject of our next video, where we'll see how to calculate the Pearson linear correlation coefficient.